Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 07 April. A lot happened overnight. Um, cable all the way down to uh, 121.64. Took out stops to the low 122.03. Obviously, uh, PM Johnson in the hospital. Um, this is not something to celebrate on a human level. I don't care what your politics are. Um, you know, dude's got a brother, mother, and a father, and loved ones. So we're we're hoping for the best uh, for Mr. Johnson. All jokes aside, um, people sometimes get confused with my uh, politically incorrect humor. Uh, that I take these personal biases. Uh, this is not true. Everyone gets made fun of, people that I love, people that I don't love. Uh, these are the rules of privateer. But we don't wish harm on anyone, even people that we're least fond of. Um, so, anyway, here we are. Um, 121.64, the low, we took out stops here. According to the news uh, that I have, he's receiving oxygen in the hospital, uh, and he's not on a ventilator, um, not in intensive care, but it's sort of intensive care because he's the prime minister. So it's unclear exactly where this is going. Um, Got to keep an eye on this news. Obviously, if we get a um, leadership void in England during these, this time of crisis, it's not good. I think the way to trade this is long euro sterling. Um, although the trade looks to be kind of over now. So, I mean, you can look at euro sterling. Uh, we've already traded up to 65. Now we're back at 22 after visiting 04. Uh, if you look at the dailies, you know, looks constructive, but uh, based on the news flow, the, the, the trade is, is, looks like it's coming to an end or we're waiting for the next phase of this trade. Euro dollar, uh, we've been waiting for this to turn. Has it turned? I don't know, we, we, we got a little core long. Through 35 seems to be uh, an important number for us. This is what we had on the books yesterday. Enter through 36. Um, we'll see today. I don't understand why the dollar um, hasn't been slapped harder but there could be could just be positioning right a lot of this is this is sort of an obvious playbook um, so maybe a lot of people have this on I don't know um, we'll see dollar Swiss same thing uh, couldn't quite get over uh, 98 the figure If you look at the sort of QE highs, they were sort of 98.90. We've done a pretty decent retrace here. Are we going to finally turn? This looks like consolidation before a turn. Don't know. 97.40 is sort of going to give us a little more comfort and confirmation uh, on the downside. So we're working on core short dollars, as everyone as everyone knows. Gold collaborated pretty well I would say. Um, 1740 the high in Asia. Wow. When the hell was that? Midnight. Of course. Gold is such a slippery bastard. So illiquid. Then back down to 03. Um, Core long gold, it's just another way of expressing uh, short dollars. Uh, and just to go back to our friend Dollar Norway, core short Dollar Norway. So if you're going to pick your pick your horses in this, you, you have a gold horse, you have um, a Swiss horse, and a Norwegian horse. Sounds like a, sounds like a joke, right? A Swiss horse, a Norwegian horse, and a golden horse walked into a bar. Um, anyway, Dollar Norway uh, has been the um, the most competent horse so far. 
we're already down 12%. Um, but this has another 10% to go. If you look at look at Norway on the dailies, this is this is going to go back down to 950. A uh, little consolidation here on the dailies. You see how hectic this is. This is uh, 22 uh, to 60 is 4%. I guess not that hectic, but uh, dollar Norway's hectic. Um, but core short dollars against Norway, Swiss, and gold is um, is what we think is going to pay here. Um, anyway, let's get on to uh, dollar CAD, which um, clipped down through these 140.80 lows last night. A lot of lows down here. 140.78, 140.80. One one forty eighty two and then all of these lows here. Dollar CAD looks like it's gonna visit this one thirty nine ten area. Um she's also not a bad horse. A little bit uh a little bit more difficult to ride, does its own thing. Um but uh, Dollar Cat is also collaborating on this uh, dollar softness today. Dollar Cat also uh, is reflective of this crude trade. Looks like um, these monkeys are going to come to some sort of agreement or deal. So will crude crude visit thirty, uh, even thirty-three bucks, perhaps? There's still a demand question out there that that's a worry. Um, there's still a worry about what global travel is going to look like after all of this. There's still a worry about what the global workday is going to look like after this. Um, so there's a demand question out there. Gun to my head, I'd like to be short oil. And we are offering uh, some 2970s for the first visit up there. But going back to dollar CAD, gold looks pretty solid now. I think the lows are in. Um, and they're going to try and rejig this thing higher. Uh, and that should help steady uh, Canadian dollar and also the, your Norwegian corona position. Let's look at Bitcoin just because it breaks my heart. Uh, we got obviously stopped out on this flash crash down. And. Um, so we're not in Bitcoin, but Bitcoin looks pretty solid again, like Freddy Krueger solid, like totally fucked everybody up with this move down to 3870. My God, what the fuck? 3870, are you kidding me? We first bought Bitcoin at 700 a um, long time ago. That is just insane. Anyway, Bitcoin looks back on track. Uh, so if you're a believer, keep on believing, I guess. We are we are not on this trade. And uh, the powers that be are, are keeping us away from it, probably rightfully so. It's, 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 um, it's more of like a bottom drawer type trade than actually a risk managed uh, asset management trade. Let's quickly look at Euro Norway. Uh, there is an interesting point down here. Uh, big, big pivot, I would call it, at, at 11 the figure. We're a ways away from it, but something to just keep in mind uh, going forward. We never talk about czar appreciation, but after trading up to 1934, we're back at 1860. And so we're just going to, instead of slamming this country every day, we're going to root for it for a little bit. We don't have a position in it, but... Maybe she's going to come back a little. Um, for those of you who who um, want to get short, 18 double O looks like a nice place to uh, get back started on that trade. But uh, first time in a long time we've seen appreciation in the czar, so I just wanted to bring it up. No dog in this fight, but cool, uh, cool 70 handles from the highs. Good luck out there, Zars. Um, boons and tens have turned a little bit, but it's tough now, right? You have all this uh, central bank buying, so we're not like, you know, pushing our chips in. 
Uh, in fact, we don't have a position in ZN. We never got paid up at 139.20. It's tricky. Um, you want to fight the Fed, but you want to fight him in the right uh, in the right spirit. Let's just put it that way, in the right spirit. How do you fight the Fed here, uh, knowing that bonds are going to collapse uh, eventually? It's a very, very good question. We're going to spend some more time thinking about that this week, how to best structure that um, going forward. Anyway, it seems I'm talking a lot today. Uh, 108.36, let's watch that in Euro. Uh, 97.40 in Dollar Swiss. Core long Euro sterling, watching the news flow out of uh, the UK. These are the focuses of the day. And with that, I will wish you good luck. Bye.